Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this 4MCAD training course and the topic for today will be the dimension styles. Um, dimension styles are the, the same, uh, have the same purpose as other similar things uh, inside 4MCAD like text styles, line styles and much more things. So the idea is to have different uh, configurations, different definitions and uh, apply each definition for particular or specific situations. Uh, I've done two uh, very simple examples. I've created one dimension with this look and uh, another linear dimension with this look. So these are two different uh, dimension styles and uh, the, the, the purpose of this example is to show you that we can make these dimensions uh, having different definitions. So um, the idea is to manage and to create these dimension styles. So under menu format we have one command called dimension style. And uh, we have a list of styles. In this particular case, I have only two. Uh, the standard uh, is inside the program by default. And this is another one that I've created for this example. This first main dialog box uh, manage the styles we have and we can create a new style and we can start with the definitions uh, from one of the ones you have already. Um, and then you, we can manage this uh, in this list. So delete, rename, modify, override the definitions, compare styles, whatever. And you can open one of the styles and simply say modify. And you will modify something for uh, the use you are doing at the moment. So we have a, a lot of uh, different configurations. These uh, configurations are grouped by uh, uh, similar functions. So we have a lot of uh, lines, symbols and arrows, whatever. And we will see uh, not uh, all uh, the configurations in detail because they are a lot, but the major ones. And uh, then you need to uh, ask us for something that uh, may not be so clear or something that uh, you want to try and see if it's okay or not. So starting lines, so dimension lines, if you remember the dimension line is the dimension where we have the text. So we can set a uh, color, line type, line weight, and we can, for example, extend beyond thick marks. So we can say, for example, extend this a little more. It's not visible in this preview but we can extend this dimension line uh, after uh, the, the extension lines. Baseline spacing, uh, it's something that we can use uh, when we are doing the quotation by baseline. So it's the spacing um, to each of the new dimensions. Uh, then we can do this, the suppress of one side or the other or both or none. Uh, then extension lines is these vertical lines here, the same, so color, line type, uh, extension 1 and extension 2, and the line weight, and again the suppression or not for one of the sides or any of those. Uh, extension lines offset, so this is the place where these extension lines start. Uh, if you say 0, so it will start immediately on the part or if you say a small value then it will have a, a little gap okay or you can have a fixed length if you want and uh, regarding the dimension line it is something that goes beyond the dimension line okay uh, symbols and arrows so uh, we can have separate configuration for the start and the end arrow so and having a different configuration then you can choose whatever you want for each type okay uh, you have the same configuration also for the leader 
so size of the arrow and uh, the, this is a tip uh, I usually uh, let me put the same fill it uh, I usually uh, give the same value for the arrow size and to this text size okay um, I can have uh, thick marks instead of the arrows and the size of those uh, regarding the circles I can have a mark or I can have a line okay you see um, or none and if I have a mark or a line I can give a, a size this is the size of the mark but if I have a line it will be the size that will go over the circle um, another command for the symbol of the arc dimension so where is where it is positioned and these two commands for uh, jog dimensions which is uh, if you remember uh, those big arcs uh, usually that uh, don't have the center uh, on a position that uh, we can have a dimension pointing to it so uh, there is a symbology if you remember for uh, the angle of the of the jog and the, this height factor so it's uh, a graphical um, configuration uh, for the text so text style you know already so you have it uh, also here color uh, the background of uh, the text so without background or not uh, so you can have a, a kind of a highlight of the text and the color if you have a background so the height with the same value as in the arrows and now you have a lot of uh, possibilities for the text placement so in terms of vertical so you can have this above or uh, centered or the farthest from defining points or whatever um, the uh, vertical offset so you can have some value so it will be the the, the offset when uh, you put the dimension above um, the line something like this um, in terms of the horizontal so you can have uh, this kind of configuration also uh, or center it or uh, above uh, extension lines uh, there, there are a lot of possibilities and uh, it's important to set also the view direction so that we can see uh, these dimensions these vertical ones if they are if they are uh, okay uh, from right to left or left to right okay so orientation of text so when it is outside the extension lines it will be aligned or horizontal when it is inside okay the same so we can say aligned something like this we can draw a frame around the text and we can have uh, a distance for this uh, frame uh, then we have a couple of options to fit the text so which will be the fit method so uh, just reading uh, if the text and the arrows do not fit inside the extension lines then all these possibilities to fit it and uh, you can force always to be inside suppress the arrows to have a little more space and uh, you can draw these dimension lines when arrows are outside in terms of the placement you can position also uh, the text with all these possibilities or in the end uh, place it simply in on a manual way and the uh, scale for the dimensions you can have it an, an, a notative sorry uh, scale it uh, on layouts or simply use an overall scale to put dimensions uh, going to the unit so primary units which is the standard uh, format so you can set the format of the units okay decimal is the one I use usually the precision which in fact is the decimal uh, places you have so two places uh, we can set the separator a comma space or a period and rounding off uh, whatever you want you can use a prefix or a suffix for example putting uh, a radius or putting other thing that you might you might 
uh, have as important. Uh, the measurement scale, okay, this is the one and you can apply these to uh, layouts only. Uh, you can suppress uh, zeros uh, on the right or on the left, okay, with the leading and the trailing. Uh, and the same configuration for angular dimensions, format, decimal places and suppression of zeros. Then you can have, activate or not, the display of some alternate units um, or not, okay. Uh, again, the configuration is uh, normal and if you activate this, then you have uh, one dimension and the second uh, alternate unit. So then you can set uh, the format, the precision and the factor, the multiplier to have to these uh, formats. Usually we have uh, metric inches or vice versa. Uh, rounding distance, again, prefix, suffix and what is the placement for these uh, alternate units after or below the primary ones. So suppressions also for these zeros, again, and the tolerances also uh, for these alternate units. Finally, tolerances, uh, we can have a method to make the tolerances, so it can be symmetrical under uh, or deviations or limits so you choose something take this out um, you can choose something then you can have the limits and the scaling the position and the alignments okay and then it's the same to take out the zeros uh, in terms of uh, left or right so leading or trailing uh, for the dimensions so after you have all of these definitions done, just manage the styles because you just say, okay, I have a list of styles and I have uh, these that I want to use. So choose it here, set current, close the dialog box. And now if you go and place the dimensions, then uh, you will use the style that is uh, as current. So uh, these are the functions for the dimension styles. I, I, I think uh, the best thing now is to make some practice. So if you want and if you need some help to understand all of these configurations, you know how to reach us. So uh, we'll be here to some help uh, you may need.